many will not make it through this season. We're getting to a time where, uh, honestly, you have to believe that there is, like, God is there. I mean, the, everybody is turning. I just read in this God in Physics book. Okay, so science and God, what we've been fighting for years, that God created the universe and astrology and tarot cards and the whole entire thing. Because even if the people who God created to make these cards made these cards, they if they say they made them for God... They made him for God. This is this has got to come together somehow. Not saying you have to believe in God, right? But come on, guys. Where did we come from? Yeah, science was involved, but God made science. The, the point I'm trying to get is there's going to be people who will faint, who will pass out because they're trying so hard to get to the end. Those are the ones that are going to be going higher in life. Not necessarily the chosen ones. Doesn't You don't have to be a chosen one to know God and know that unless you believe and stay. All right, even if it's God for you, it stands for good, orderly direction. It's still something that's your higher, higher self. When you're down in the dumps, that's not your higher self. But it's okay to be down in the dumps, right? We all need to, we, all, we are all healing. We are all going more uh, natural. Since COVID happened, we're staying at home more. Now, maybe we're starting to get back out there with going to the gym, protect. I don't even know where I'm going with this, except... Not many people are going to make it to the finish line. But whoever I'm speaking to right now, you have fought through, like, tests that people uh, thought you would never get through. And I don't even want to bring up, like, like literally they could have tried to, you know, like, take you out at, through this process. Because you were telling the truth. You are speaking the truth. You are doing the work, you know, going within, healing, breaking curses. And what that means, you know, people like um, in my family, when I said breaking the curses, I think they got offended. Uh, all I was trying to say, guys, is that the way our family speaks to each other, you're like your mother, you're like your father, the partners that have come in, the in-laws that have come into our family, if you don't see how many family fights there were and how much toxicity there was, that's what I'm breaking. I'm not going to let my grandkids have a fucked up relationship. A dysfunctional family. So you got mad at me when I said I'm breaking curses and that's all it was. Remember, Nana didn't talk to Aunt Rosie for 10 years, that's not going to happen with my grandkids. And yes, they are my, my grandkids too. There's some people who felt entitled uh, to tell me that I missed a celebration because God asked me to for a very important reason. I never miss anything like that in my family. And boy, was he right. And I listened to my intuition. I had my family bashing me for not going to this celebration. I don't know where I'm going with this. This all started with only certain people are going to make this through and, and, and latch on. Nobody wants to force it down your throat. Nobody wants to tell you what to believe in. We're just all saying that when you heal yourself, and raise the vibration because we all are full of energy. We all are energetically connected. And we can bring whoever's high vibing, like I'm, like I feel like I'm very high vibing. I'm going to pick the people who have the lower energy and need help up with me. And that's what it's all about.